previous video, I tried to be Twitter famous even when I don't know how to Twitter. But maybe I shouldn't try to be Twitter famous because Twitter is dead. Confirmed. No one gives a sh hey, Twitter. Okay, good morning guys. Um, woke up 4.30 and decided that I want to be Twitter famous. Okay, so I'm not sure how I came up with this. I just don't really understand Twitter. Like, I don't even know. How do you Twitter? Like, I don't know. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jade. If you're new, um, hi. I usually do Instagram growth videos, but I was trying to give you guys some variety. Hey guys, so we're at the gym. It's currently like 8 a.m. and I have a lot of meetings today, so I'm gonna pick you guys along. I'm going to try to do the first tweet this morning and I'll do it lunch and then I'll do it in the afternoon and see how many followers I get. So let's just start with the workout and I'm just trying to get inspired. I'm gonna listen to some Gary V, get the brain flow going so I can think about cool tweets. I don't, what do you even do on Twitter? Let's get into it. We just finished the workout, um, hardcore on these weights. I'm just trying to think about my first tweet. Honestly guys, when I think about Twitter, I think about memes and high schoolers subtweeting. I don't really know how to use it. Like my first instinct is to post like motivational shit, like Gary Vee, but I feel like no one will relate. The main reason why I don't use Twitter is because it's just filled with people from school. And it's like not that it's a bad thing, it's just like I can't tweet anything that's relatable. If you guys would help me out and like help me be myself and just follow me on Twitter so I have an audience to share my thoughts and values, I mean, it'll be linked right here and below. I'm gonna think about a meme just because I wanna see if I can come up with a good meme. Post it right now, it's in the morning, so we'll just see what I come up with. I wanna get some fresh air to think about my meme. It's really hard to come up with stuff without like depending on a trend, like the Tide Pods trend. Like I could totally make something out of that, but like I understand why people get Twitter famous. Like it's f***ing hard to be creative. I mean, Twitter's the only platform where people repost your sh on their timeline, in addition to Facebook, but um, Facebook is like, I guess, older demographic, so I feel like no one will understand my means, but I'm just trying to think. So I decided that I was going to search up the Twitter algorithm just to get a better understanding. You can see it's just like use appropriate hashtags, use topics that are trending. I can't come up with anything creative. This is draining. This is hard. I'm looking at the trending tweet and one of them is 14 years of Wings Club, which is one of my favorite shows when I was younger. Everything that's good is taken, I swear. Every idea I have is just done and I don't I just want to be okay. I think I got it So um, basically wings club is like an old show and something that's old too is my Nintendo DS Mom, Look, oh, yeah, did you know what this is? Yeah, the S game. Do you remember the show? I think I used to watch one as a child. Oh, yeah, the wings <laughs> Wings. I wonder if it turns on <gasps> No Okay, so I'm gonna take some photos of it with just my iPhone. Just taking a photo of it. Then I'm gonna put on the meme. So I'm gonna compare it to something and I'll show you guys the final tweet. So here it is. I'll pop the tweet right here. Um, and I think it's just really fun. If you don't get it, you're not gonna get it. It's just like, it's only like if you were like five or seven years old, like you would understand this tweet because it was just the best like TV show ever. Someone just commented, LOL, yikes. Um, no one even give a sh Okay. All right, so post it on my Instagram story and all we gotta do is just wait till I get a million more followers on Twitter. <laughs> Help me out guys, I'll put the link below if you can follow me and tweet my tweets and comment on my tweet, turtle emoji, and then I'll know you came from the YouTube video. No one gives a sh I hate Twitter. Just kidding, I'm not gonna give up. <laughs> I'm actually getting ready because your girl has a another Day. I always say I have a busy day, but it's not actually always like this. Uh, today is just like really packed. I coach people how to grow their social media and their online business. And then I actually have a tea date with a subscriber. That's pretty cool. So I can't wait to meet some of you guys today. The only dilemma is like I have to work till like 8 p.m. every hour. Maybe I should think about like spreading out my time and not concentrating all in one day. But uh, we're, I'll just update you on the tweet thing. But I, it's just kind of a busy day. So we'll see how it goes. I actually have a coaching call right now. Just Talk 10 favorite people you want to work with. Most of their audience are the people that you want to work with because if they're in the makeup niche, they'll also like your products or your services as well. I wrap up my coaching call. I just looked up Twitter growth and you can buy real Twitter followers. How tempting is that? Just kidding. Okay, listen, I did my research. When I say research, I was watching a few YouTube videos. Is I'm trying to learn Anyone Twitter, man. You have <laughs> what I've heard is like, even the CEO, Jack Dorsey was, 
It's like, you sent out a tweet. I have to like insert it here. October is like, We've been working so hard to re-engage everyone. It's been two years and it's hard. Like he basically just, we say that Twitter is dead. I just read this article also by Inc. It was saying why Twitter might be the new entrepreneur's best friend or it's just like the only person that spends money on Twitter ads are like political sh and you know what I mean? Like no one's really spending money on Twitter ads for e-commerce and there's a reason why because like none of the tensions there. Um, Twitter decreased from 70 million users to 68 million users. Uh, that's not good at all. I don't know. I'm not even offended, yo. I'm killing the Instagram game. <laughs> I'm just gonna double down on Instagram and YouTube. I was feeling bad about myself that I wasn't doing Twitter. Sorry, Twitter's just not relevant right now. You guys might like Twitter. I just don't think it's going to be sustainable just because their, alg their algorithm, really, really weird. It's, I think what's happening is if you tweet a lot, you won't get engagement. And like usually most platforms encourage a lot of posts, but Twitter is like the opposite. Also, if you want to show up on someone's timeline, it's not, it's like not always chronological. And the fact that Twitter is not like a video and audio platform, the reason why it's declining, just because everyone's so accustomed to visuals instead of tech, which I know you can do text on Twitter, but you know, it's not really meant for that, but I'm not even offended. So maybe I should try to be Twitter famous because Twitter is dead. Confirmed. Just kidding. I'll try. I'll keep trying. <laughs> I think I'm gonna tweet Twitter is dead. I'm not Twitter girl, okay? So we're just gonna do that for the second tweet of the day. I might have lunch and I have another coaching call. So I'll give you guys any progress. I'm just like, I realize I shouldn't be offended if no one's seeing my posts just because I'm not really made for Twitter like purposes. It's just, I, I just don't understand. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the second tweet. I think it's just a good space for political news and updates, but for like content creators, it's actually very weird. We're just not a fun area to get engagement. Um, I think YouTube is where it's at, to be honest. But I just, because I love you guys so much. So, yeah. like, and you can tie that with your music and brand yourself as a media company instead of just an artist. You're gonna be so much stronger and create like a like a freaking like machine. Yeah, I just closed a deal um, with a student for a month program. So. Honestly, I should just give up on Twitter. Um, I had lunch, then I made some bulletproof coffee. You guys should check out my coffee vlog. I'll just link it right here. My really high class recipe. Hope you guys enjoy it. I have a meeting right now with a girl named Peyton. Right now, people can't clarify who you are because there's so many things. If people want a meeting number four. Hey James, this is James. Hey. You need to try it, man. You need to try to be an entrepreneur, but you know it's not working for you because yeah. if you can't take rejection and if you can't take um, the risk, like you just, you just, it's a feeling. I think it's more of like a great podcast with James. I'll put his socials below. Um, so James interviewed me for his podcast and it was great. So, but now I have another phone call with Lex, another artist I'm working with. Hey, this is Jade. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to Car Chats with Jade and Mom. This video is a fail. I was sad, but now I'm not even offended because the platform itself is dead. Hashtag not even blaming the platform. I feel like a lot of people have traffic on Twitter because it's a great place to repost and send stuff to people's timelines, but like coach a lot of music, uh, people in the music industry. And she's like, yeah, I get a lot of traffic on Twitter, like a lot of retweets, but I'm like, are they loyal? Like, do they come back for your regular music? And then she's like, no. So I realized like, I think there's a huge space for people to transfer their Twitter traffic to their Instagram or their YouTube because the moment you don't cross platform, the, uh, the social media itself will eat you alive. Although I failed all my challenge and I didn't become Twitter famous, at least I have you guys. So so at least this makes a good title. All right guys, so other than today's meeting, and then I have another call at five, then another one at six, another one at seven, another one at eight. So. Nice to meet you, hi. hi. Hey guys, I'm here with Jenny. So we were talking about her blog, her life, and I love connecting with you guys. Since this Twitter thing is gonna fail anyways, I thought I'd leave you guys with some more motivation, which is I think my source of energy and I get this question a lot. It's just like, I think I'm just honestly grateful and I have so much to be thankful for. And that's why I just have so much energy to keep going. Let's just check our results from today's Twitter fame. Um, it's not that much. I normally get anywhere from two retweets to three likes and we're just gonna see how it is. So we got uh, one retweet and five hearts. Cool. For my other post, we got um, six hearts. All right. We're 
cooking. I hope you guys like this. Can't believe Twitter's a fail. No offense, Jack Dorsey, but you really need to step up your algorithm. I could make this video again and have successful results, but you guys are the best on YouTube, so I'm not even complaining. I love you guys so much. Congratulations to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below your thoughts on Twitter. Do you use it? All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up, if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.